my main goal is to, you know, help people. Just, you know, make them, make them realize that they're of their value to the world. Whether it be activism for mental health or, uh, or suicide prevention. Uh, that's that's pretty good actually goal. my favorite cherry. The following contains adult themes, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion and desire is advised. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Today we're starting off a longer-ish stream, maybe, who knows, doing I Spy with My Little Eye today with my guest, Pink Serif. How are no. you doing today? Terrible, but I'll survive. <laughs> Won't we all? I hope. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Pink Seraph. I've been on uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube for over 14 years. Oh, geez, pretty active. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Content oh, creation since I was 13. I've actually been off and on with it. I haven't been doing like a real push until, I don't know, this last couple months. Like I did have stuff back when I was 13-ish. Oh, there's an account on there that I don't like being on there, but <laughs> I don't have the access anymore. Uh, oh, that's our... uh... Oh, That's right. by the way, pronouns were she, her, right? Yeah, she, her. Okay, perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, do you go by any nicknames? Um, not really. I, my like preferred, my, my preferred name is, uh, like, my... Not my dead name, which is Angel. Okay. Um, is it just YouTube and Twitch you're on? Or do you do anything else? No, I'm just on YouTube now. Oh, just switching over to YouTube fully. Yeah, fully. Okie dokie. I did link your YouTube in the guest command so there's no worries about that uh what inspired you to start making content so uh machinima before it before it go poof it did just sort of it disappear oh it didn't sort of disappear actually <laughs> oh there what? was a there was a lot of illicit activity. Oh shit, I had no idea. The owner was a was a bad bad man. Huh. Um ah, I did already mention how long you've been working on content. What kind of content do you work on? Normally uh just anything i i love games but i do uh do occasionally do talking content and uh crafting and drawing and all sorts of stuff okay so you're pretty varied up there hey humble it's like really really hard uh to do this as long as you have as I have and uh and still and not have tons of of hobbies. That's very true. There's so much that goes into the back end of working on just streaming, for instance, that you're gonna be picking up some skills. And those skills can lead to new hobbies. Yeah! Addiction! Yeah! Uh, what's the goal with your platform? 
Well, my main goal is to, you know, help people. Just, you know, make them, make them realize that they're of their value to the world. Whether it be activism for mental health or, uh, or suicide prevention. Uh, that's that's pretty good actually goal. my favorite cherry as well. I'm actually going to swap you over. Swap me over. And turn this way. Oh, I, I haven't seen this yet. Oh, wait, there, there you are. I am sort of big on the screen now. Yeah, a little bit, but I think it looks great. I know, I know. <laughs> Is there something you wish you were taught when you first got into content creation? Oh my god, there's loads. Of, I didn't know that I, I probably should have. <laughs> like I can imagine you have plenty of wisdom to share. An anonymity it was one of them. And also, don't worry about your numbers. <laughs> Things will come when they come. Yeah, and you. I don't even look at my viewers these days. I just, I well, speak with people in chat, obviously, but I don't. Viewers. Well, then you have six hundred viewers. <laughs> I've got the entire world watching when I'm live. That's right? the way I look at it. Where's Jeff Goldblum? Oh, he's right there. Oh, cool. Uh, I kind of want to rephrase this a little differently, given your experience in it. Have you felt like any of your content that you've made in this time has been too niche? Um, a little bit, some here and there, but, but. I I feel like uh, I can hit a wide range of audiences by just being myself. I'm I'm just uh, quirky in general. <laughs> True. And I really really don't mind uh, you know discovering new hobbies and new niches because. Uh, my my favorite uh my favorite quote ever said from uh, any creator is you don't know your niche until you've had 20 of them that weren't your niche that's a really good point you don't really know where you lie until you try a few things you're going to stumble but you will find your place as long as you keep trying. Plus, people's brands will just naturally grow and change. I wouldn't imagine most people would stick to like one version of their VTuber, one style of content forever. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's really a sad tale when you don't grow as an individual when you do your streaming and your YouTubing and whatever content creation you do only 15 because... niches more. I'll find it <laughs> give me 15 more you'll get there um didn't mean to interrupt sorry but... oh, no no you're fine um where was I going with this? I don't even remember what I said. Oh, oh my shit. god, I'm a bimbo. <laughs> um, let's see. I, I, I think. Oh, yeah. Growing as an individual, it really, in uh, inherently, you you just need you need to grow. In order to uh, to you know grow your community, because switching it up is very 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 important. It really is. 
and the way you really build a community or you want to the way i want to i'll phrase it is you don't want to build a following you want to build a community that'll actually stick around and hang out with you in between your brand changing and excuse me and during all your growth it's part of networking that is honestly the hardest part of content creation in my opinion my my favorite thing is i like to call my followers fellowship because we're a community but we're a family as well that's good i call my followers lovers because i'm a whore hey some more power to you what's the biggest project you're currently working on well currently i want to do a charity stream for uh, halloween and uh all hallows eve oh yeah for, uh, all saints day is that going to be on halloween day yeah it's gonna be i i think i was just gonna do eight hours okay and then i and i was gonna do it from uh from like i don't know like six o'clock uh six o'clock that 31st to to the first so all the way till midnight or oh, past yeah, midnight? It would, it would be about 2 a.m. Okay. That'll be a long stream. Hopefully I can catch at least some of it. I don't know if I'll be working by then. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not I work. actually hope yes. I am working by then. I kind of need the money. <laughs> um, If you could collaborate with any content creator, who would it be? Um, that's Uh, Nux. Nux? Yeah, Nux. Oh, okay. I've only <laughs> recently actually heard of him. Oh, he's, uh, he's, he's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I found, I found his TikToks a bit ago. He's fairly funny, yeah. But I only really figured out who he was, um with the latest hashtag, or what I think is the latest hashtag, that naked for Nux. Uh, either he, he that did not or like Fifi? That. Pardon? Either that or Fifi? Fifi? I don't think I know them. Fifi is, uh... I, I think she was supposed to be, like, his side chick or something? Or they had something going on, but she is a uh, horny AF. To put it lightly. Well, but I mean that's me. Uh, he he is a uh, he reeks pe he reeks of uh of freaking uh, degeneracy, and I love it. I love every minute of it. Uh, they did a hentai video, like a, a hentai tournament. A hentai tournament? Oh, it, 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 it is uh, almost as degenerate as it sounds. Only almost? Only almost. They, he's still on YouTube, so he can't be, like, horny horny. Ah. Uh, you know, I don't even know how cool they are with horny horny content. Like, I know nothing explicit, but we'll see if any of my videos get taken down. Nothing explicit. Um... None of that would would really matter if you're not planning on monetizing like you said. Yeah, like I'm not monetizing yes. my shit. Hentai the tournament. Hentai tournament. Let's do it. It was like uh it's like a battle of of red of rule thirty four as well. That was that was fun. 
basically whatever got the highest result won. Highest result? Yeah. So like it was like everybody votes or something? Results. Like, you know how there's a ton of pictures on Roll 34? Uh huh. Well, I am more well, than familiar with that site. Well, the, the, the one with the highest amount of pictures is the winner. Oh, okay. So basically, you look up the tag and then you go to the last page. And whoever has the most pages of art wins. Well, no. All, all you got to do is uh, search for it and it'll. Uh... And it'll say how many pictures it it, it has. Oh right, oh, yeah. yeah, they they do that in the uh, tags. Yeah. Oh, but so you can get away with safer work ish streams. Yeah, it's uh uh he, he be really careful not he to gets, hit enter. He gets demonetized regularly. <laughs> No surprises there. I am definitely I mean, going to be keeping ads off of my stuff. I would advise against that, but I mean, you're not going to listen to me. <laughs> oh, poggers. Oh, oh poggers. God. I'm getting my it's payout on the 15th. They're dropping 50, or dropping the payout for Canada to 50 bucks on the 15th this month. Nice. Oh, well, you won't get it till next month then. Well, I'm getting the payout on the way, so that's the important thing. I mean, I'll probably get it as well then. More than likely. I would assume they would include the U.S. in Canada and Canada and, like, the quote unquote bigger countries. Yeah, they they were originally not going to include them at first. Because this was actually for the uh the small countries because they uh they have different sort of uh rules for paying out anyway. That they makes even sense. Gonna, they weren't but, even going to I mean, include it's, the UK, so. It's a good change for all small creators, god damn it. It really is. It's, it's really, taken them way too amazing. long to do this. It really, I, like, when I, when I first saw the $100 threshold in, in like 2017, I was like, you guys are dumb. Yep. You can get so much more money but and keep and keep streamers streaming that are affiliates by just look having the threshold in a year. Yep. But even then I'm also really bothered by ads. I'm pretty sure I did turn off the um ad manager on Twitch, but it they force pre roll ads. So at least there's I, only one interruption of ads. I don't like big rolls. I agree with uh only having pre roll ads because uh because when someone comes in they bounce immediately, but people are willing to stay through the ads sometimes, and that that is fine with me. But I, I I'm on YouTube, so I don't get any ads. So. Or if I do, they're easily skippable instantly. Yeah, they, at worst, it's like skip ad in five seconds. Or it's a six second unskippable ad, so it's like, uh. But still, I find it takes me out of a video I'm watching when I'm like listening to a conversation, listening to a debate, and then I hear a really good talking point, 
and then an ad goes in and it's like, ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, my immersion, no! It's not even the biggest complaint, but it bugs the shit out of me. Especially because they don't pay, they give like peanuts for the ad revenue. So yeah, don't give me ads. That's about, that's about what they get. It's, uh, however, YouTube is, is way, way, way better. I think it's about 70% that the creator gets. Correct? Oh, that is better. I know and, with uh, Super Chats, they take a big cut. Yeah, but, uh, subs, like, their members, though, that's also a 70-30 split. Oh, okay. That is definitely better than Twitch. I do also... Oh, that was one other thing I knew about YouTube. I forget now. There's many things I know about YouTube. I can imagine. You've been at this way longer than I have. I have made a... Machinima. That is on YouTube and I can't take it down. Oh. oh my god. Is it on is it on the dead channel? It's on a dead channel, yeah. Cuz I on the I made a specific channel? what? On the dead channel? I mean, I have a I had a few. Oh, yeah, me too actually. <laughs> like um I used to do let's plays with my little brother. Um actually the best one we did was a Super Smash Brothers tournament. Where we used Ooh, our amiibo to fun. fight, and then we bet on um, what amiibo was going to win. You know, I should do a review of that going over, because it was actually entertaining, and I could milk that for content. Oh, I'm content-brained. But I also don't want to really showcase my machinima that I put out there, because it didn't age well. It's, it's cancel-worthy, and I am not proud of it. So remake it. No. Remake something new. The... I would just go with something brand new, honestly. Oh, wait. I did actually work on a Machinima series called Spartan High. That was terrible. But that one uh, wasn't cancel-worthy. I uh, used to do... Uh... I used to do RP videos on Minecraft. Oh, yeah? I'm cringe. I think... Uh, mm -hmm. that, that was rather rough to watch. Because I was like 13 when, I, when Minecraft came out. So I was... Uh, <laughs> I was freaking... Uh, I was definitely a weird kid. I was and... not too, too normal either. Oh, God. I was 21 when Minecraft initially came out. No, wait, I was 20. When, when, wait, when did Minecraft come out? November 18th, I I... 2011. I, I, I literally have to bust out the calculator for that. Was that 11 years ago? Yeah, that's 11 years ago. Oh, well, um, I was, um, 17, I think. How Minecraft was around longer. Well, yeah, really. I thought it was like 13 years. I guess that makes sense because I didn't actually start playing it till oh, fuck college. I I used to watch Sea Manners play it. I I'm sorry, my bones were just grinding to dust there. I'm gonna stop <laughs> looking at that. That's reminding me. Stop it! I'm I'm still a zoomer. Don't 
<laughs> Don't leave me. She's hate fucking herself. Always. <laughs> <laughs> what skill would you say has taken you the longest to improve? Um, honestly, still content creation. Yeah. It's 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 a slow going process. I yeah. I I never really learned how to promote myself as well. That's honestly a tricky thing to really learn cuz you can't really teach somebody how they can properly promote themselves. You can really only offer guiding advice for how different ways that you could possibly promote. And then the individual has to figure that the rest out from themselves. I mean, I am a I am a really good content creator. You know, if I, if I don't toot my own horn for a second. <laughs> I'll toot your um, horn. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, I, I try, I try to be as entertaining as possible. It's, it's not, it's not really about, uh, it's not really about talking it, or engaging with your, with your viewers. It's about how to, like, run a stream and be a personality because viewers are nice but and followers are nice but followers are just a number and it's loyal viewers that stick around through everything that you've been through that uh that make that make a creator who they are they are definitely the ones that help support the creators for sure. And honestly, at our size, it's kind of nice. We can somewhat avoid most of the para side of a parasocial relationship. And it's more social because it's a smaller group of people that we can really get to know. Like I recognize the, all the names in my chat. I know them decently well. It's kind of a nice feeling. I can imagine uh, viewers would be nice right now. I'm just sitting here alone on YouTube, twiddling my thumb. I'm watching you. Go check out Sarah. Hyperventilates. Um. How do you like to spend your free time not working on content? If you do. Honestly, I, I, uh, I dream about content. <laughs> Termini terminally content brained as well, huh? Uh, well, I, I do have hobbies outside of content creation, though. I, I really, really, really like, uh, just, just uh, sitting down with a good book or watching movies. I love movies. My uh, my favorite uh, TV series currently is uh, Inside uh, Inside Job on Netflix. Inside Job. Which one was that? That was about. That was the conspiracy theory about the government being fake and stuff. That it's okay. a cartoon like Rick and Morty. I might have seen one episode of that. It does sort of ring a bell. Hey there, Crimson. How you doing? Hey, Crimson. Oh, it it get it gets good. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think the last but, spy thing I watched was Q Force on Netflix. I absolutely love uh, Disenchanted as well. Oh, my oh that God. was really good. I need to catch up on that. I think I've watched the first two seasons. Um, Didn't get a like notification. Was... <gasps> you gotta ring oh. the bell. T -t 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 Tap that bell! Ding, 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 ding. Oh, right. I gotta be a good viewer. I forgot. Sorry. 
Don't be, don't be mad. I did it now. I, I like mad. this stream. I like this stream. Gotta help the algorithm. Almighty algorithm, please, <laughs> RN Jesus. I'm I'm trying to fight the algorithm by just promoting on Twitter and like avoiding the YouTube algorithm somewhat. But I mean, it's a hard thing to fight. I do wonder if sometimes. my stuff would be okay for like Curiosity Stream Nebula. I'm considering checking them out, but I'm also checking out other platforms and stuff. Definitely going to be sticking with the platforms I got as well. I'm not planning on leaving any per se. I would love to be on Float Plane. Which? Which is uh, Linus Tech Tips. Like. Nebula, basically. Oh, okay. But they they were doing it before Nebula was. Yeah, I I can't say I've heard of them. I only know of Nebula and Curiosity Stream because I do follow some of the bigger um, bread tubers, if you would. I know they've been promoting it quite well. I think I don't they're also hear a partner. Bailey or Briley? Yeah. Oh my God! Was I'm I looking a away? Dummy. You're not the first person to call me Bailey. I don't know if she's in chat, but she knows who she is. There we go. Hey. Everybody I, that calls I, me Bailey is a super cutie. Oh, no. Not this again. Mm-hmm, this again. Oh, no. So where would you want to see yourself in five years? Um... I... I don't know what the future would hold for me. Because I... I still want to be doing content creation in the future. But as, as far as staying here and being in this toxic fumes of a place, my um, community is wholesome. What are you talking about? Uh, I <laughs> meant in real life. Yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to make light of a dark situation. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. No, I, I, uh, I would love to visit Canada. We'd love to have you. All of you, huh? Mm-hmm. Honestly, I... it's just like live here three months and you get covered under our medical that includes transitioning um to um if you go to um if you go to freaking uh canada uh, is it hard to get a a visa you can be registered as a permanent reg um resident I, w I would like to still visit and be able to visit America as a dual citizen. Yeah, you can apply for dual citizenship. Yay. It is pretty nice that can Canada and America do have that sort of relationship. I believe uh, there is somewhat a, a same relationship with Mexico, but... But, I wouldn't know uh, about that one. I'm a dumb Canadian. Imports are are very expensive in in uh, Mexico. I would imagine. I would imagine they would have a lot of restrictions in there. I do look forward to in about maybe a couple of years when I'm got my solid wage for working my union. Then I'll be able to do like um road trips and stuff hitting up conventions getting to meet different peeps It'll oh be tons i of fun. would love i would love to go to pax seattle or pax west whichever okay. they're calling it now um 
I I would also really like to go to San San Diego TwitchCon. That one I want to go to too. too. I would just need to find a um, convention in the area, okay. Crimson. I would, I, I, my friend, the lady Panda, got a ticket, and they're, they're, um, going to be going to, uh, to there and Comic Con in the same week. I was like, jealous, jealous. Fan Expo because... Toronto every year? Nice. Good to know. Because... Okay. Didn't mean to cut you off. But... Oh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Uh, I would also like to go to LPX. Because Linus, uh, Linus canceled it for two two months or two years I mean uh, LTX is just a nerd convention for uh, computers and uh, I do Linus like Pan nerds I really like nerds me too especially when they're all shy and pointing their fingers together oh no Oh yes. Is this is this where is this what we're doing? <laughs> A little bit of flirting, of course. Of course, and flirting. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Would you say you have a favorite music genre? Oh, absolutely. It's a uh, metal, but I am open to like literally anything. I can. I can find a good song in any genre, even country. Yep, I've got same kind of tastes. I prefer metal, though I do also listen to rock and pop M as my majority what I'm listening to. But I've got country, I've got bhangra, I've got um, EDM, I've got dubstep, I've got disco. I'm a, I'm well, I, I like Florida Georgia Line because Sundays is the best song in the world and you can find me on that. Totally fair. What song would be played endlessly on loop in your personal hell? Um, Baby Shark. That's a common because one. because I have uh, nieces. That uh, that listen, listen to that for uh, every every waking moment of the day for like two years. Never Jesus. got tired of it. I uh, I hate it and Moana with a burning passion. <gasps> oh my God, I haven't even listened to it like. Twice yet. I've heard it once and I'm like, okay, I get why people hate it. Oh, although, um, although Samator, the, uh, the rock crustacean god, uh, he is, he is my favorite character from that. Yeah, I agree, Crimson. And Korg from Thor? No, 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 no. I I got a tour from uh, Moana. Oh, okay, yeah. I did like that character. Um, what food do you like that not many others do? Um, like it's it's not really a niche, but uh. Brussels sprouts and uh, mushrooms. Yeah, there's actually not a lot of people that go out of their way to get mushrooms or I Brussels sprouts. I freaking love mushrooms and seafood. Oh, so good. 
Uh, also, a lot of people do not like spicy food. I love spicy food. Oh, spicy can be good. Uh, I I like uh, Asian hot spicy food. <laughs> My favorite spicy dish is actually a chicken curry from a Chinese restaurant, and it is super duper good. Oh, that sounds amazing. It's like steamed rice with um, chicken, potato, carrots, broccoli, and a, a, a yellow kind of curry sauce. And it's just so good. Oh, yellow curry is the best curry. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know the difference, honestly. Curry. I'm yeah. not a fan of red curry because it's like a marinara -y. Hey, zero. I feel... Oh god, blushes. It's zero. <sighs> Just one more cutie in chat, not a big deal. I'm what? a new content creator. What are you talking about? <laughs> what does your ideal breakfast include? Um so I've heard you ask this question, and I was just like, I I want this forever and always, which is uh, uh, chicken and waffles with uh, with with Vermont made sauce or with Vermont made uh, maple syrup and uh, and the orange juice. Uh, chicken and waffles does sound good right now. Like, plus orange juice. That's making me real hungry. I should have had breakfast. Woman, I... <laughs> just... <laughs> I don't have breakfast in the morning normally. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to guess the answer is content creation, but what topic could you talk about the most? Uh, it's not content creation. It's, uh, it's 100% PC. PC? Yeah, like, like... Personal computers? Yes, personal computers. That's so hot. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could definitely talk about... I could... I could pretty much talk about anything. It's it's getting me to shut up is the hard part. Apparently all I gotta do is fluster you. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most interesting person you have met or interacted with? Honestly, you. You what? and Zero? Really? Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, Zero is a pretty interesting character. <laughs> He's been an inspiration for me for a while. <laughs> Those... That is... Really uh... emotes. I gotta do that. I love those eyes. And They're don't so worry, pretty. Crimson, I'm staying hydrated. Whiskey does not count. I don't drink alcohol. I know. <laughs> I drink pop. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm incorrigible. If you could have lucid dreams, what would they be about? Yeah. Every time I even. do dream, it is a lucid dream. Oh mostly. shit, really? Lucky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not really. They're weird. Yeah, I've heard that they're actually different than what you would expect. Well, yeah, dream they, world. It's it's not always a sex dream. Like it's it's Why? usually never. It's usually a nightmare for me, oh. honestly. Oh, fair enough.
it's just because I uh, I dream differently and I I dream a weird thing in my life and then I it exaggerates in my dream and it turns into a nightmare. It's unfortunate. Well, next time just dream of me protecting you. Will do. <laughs> What story would you say has had the biggest impact on you? Um, I, someone said 13 Reasons Why the book, and I would, I would, uh, love to agree, but, uh, Eat, Pray, Love? I can't say uh, that I've actually read either of those two. Eat, Pray, Love is really good. Or The Pursuit of Happiness. The book is amazing. I have heard good things about it. Is there and any it's just a... Oh, sorry. It's just a uh, really, really, really uh, inspiring story. I should definitely... Definitely check them out then. Is there anything on your mind you feel should have more attention brought to it? Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, trans suicide rates. Yep, that is a wildly exaggerated number. It, it usually is, but... It should probably be goose egg, but it it's never going to be, unfortunately. And and I support the Trevor Project wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Because not only is it uh, adults with that are trans and have a have no like where to go but they also they also support kids which is so much so, such a good cause trevor project really is a good cause and it's such a difficult subject for many people to approach like honestly there is a fairly high rate of tos violations of among trans kids when they don't have a single person to accept them. If you have one person in your family that respects you, calls you the right name, calls you the right pronouns, that rate drops to 15 sixteenths of what it was. Oh my God. That's, minuscule fraction. That's crazy. It literally drops to the average rate. Across everybody, it levels out if they have support. So, yeah, people need that support in their lives. Support and love. Just mm -hmm. love somebody. It does. It doesn't have to be a trans person. It could be anybody. So everybody needs just just one hug. Is one. It'll help them say Everybody so much. needs more than one, but just giving them that one can really help somebody out in ways you might never even realize. Yeah, people people go through a lot, and one hug could mean life and death for someone. Honestly, it really can. There's a lot of people that are struggling and all they could really need all they really need is just a random hug. But obviously you don't want to be going out and hugging random strangers on the street without asking. Hey you come here. Give me a hug. What do you nah. re hmm? if you have something to add, oh, no. please do. Oh, no, nothing. I was, I was just being corny. If you have something to add, please do. 
Oh no, no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Oh, oh what Jesus. do you rebel against? Um the system? Uh capitalism as it were. Comrade. That's a hell of a fight, but we're fighting together. Fuck capitalism. I I wouldn't call myself a socialist, but I I do agree with the ideals of socialism. That's fair. It's not a label for everybody. And there are plenty of people that do try and make our name as communists and socialists bad. And by our, I mean mine, not yours. I know, I respect your decisions. Oh, I, I absolutely agree with, uh, with, um, I can call myself a socialist or a communist, but, but everybody, everybody hates the term communism because it's always associated with something bad. Yeah, the Red Scare campaign really did a number on it. Oh, yeah. And the Cold War, oh, that was fun. Yep, especially with the USSR calling themselves communist. There's not yeah, a single communist work? government in power right now. That's just like, uh, labelism, if you will. Yeah, virtue signaling kind of thing. Yep. China is state capitalist. They are not communist. Communism comes from the um, decommodification of the material form, i.e. you're not selling goods for profit anymore, and due to a taking of the power by the proletariat, meaning the workers would actually have say in what goes on. There is only the Chinese government that has say in what goes on. And the organizations or um, companies are allowed to flourish so long as they serve the state. So, state capitalist. They just yeah, call themselves is. the Communist Party of China. Or the Chinese are, Communist Party, sorry. People are really afraid of politics or on Twitter. They really are. They? Wait, on Twitch? No, there's a pretty big amount of Twitch debaters yeah. that follow politics. Uh, yeah, I, I watch Barnacles. And Barnacles? I don't he, think I know them. Um, He is very uh, uh, anti-Trump. Good. Like, I personally don't need people to pledge themselves to communism or socialism. Just fight against the system that's in power, because the system in power is fucked up. That's where we'll start with. Well, we'll have to start there and and end up on an actual plan to to ratify social or uh, communism or fucking god damn it capitalism words are jumbled up in my brain right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty tired, too. Um, yeah, like, where was I? I think I lost my train of thought, too. Awesome. Oh, right. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't think we will achieve a form of socialism in our lifetime. Maybe oh, in the not. future. But certainly not in our lifetime. All we can really push towards is at what I would prefer as a transitionary period would be a social democracy where we at least get rid of the 1% class, the upper class, the ruling class, the bourgeoisie. Ideally, that would just, in my mind, that would just be worker cooperatives instead of a standard firm for companies. 
I I think you would really like uh, Moriarty the Patriot. It is a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, thing, uh, anime about a man that likes to kill uh, noble people because they treat the working class like dirt. Oh, it's an anime. Yeah, it's an anime. It's wonderful, though. I will check it out. And he is a criminal mastermind. It's great. <laughs> um, what's the weirdest way you've met somebody? Wait, no, that one's that one will get you banned. Never mind. Um, let's see. I play fast and loose as long as we don't get graphic. Oh, it was it was gonna get graphic. Okay, thank you for the... avoiding that. You can always tell me in DMs. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> you piqued my curiosity. Well. My first, my first girlfriend uh, at the time was, was, I met her, uh, I met her through a mutual friend, but we ended up bumping in, into each other beforehand and didn't know who we were, each other were, so we got to talking, and, and, uh, that's how we met. That's weird because he was he was just coming to uh to like to, to you know to get get us in line with each other. And then uh so that is a terrible story with a horrible ending because she ended up cheating on me with her, with him, and marrying him. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, and uh, he beats her. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, it's it's rough. She uh she married him, and. And she she's been with child like three times already. Oh, those poor kids. Yeah, no. What's the most amazing natural occurrence you've witnessed? So I am a frequent uh, sunset and dusk lover, and. My my favorite sunset that I've ever watched was a uh, was a sunset when when the sun was going down and there was a uh, hangnail moon. So the the sky was blood red. Oh jeez. It was crazy cool. That sounds like it. It's so Frustrating that you can't always get like a good picture of that kind of view. I'm sure somebody got it. It was uh it was a it's an occurrence that only happened like fifth every fifty years. Oh. Well if it was planned ahead of or if it was known it was happening in ahead of time, then yeah, somebody probably got it. Well yeah, it was a it was a rare eclipse. Mm-hmm. Would you ever try space tourism if given the chance? No, because I I I've seen what could go wrong and no. <laughs> That's why I don't go diving. But I would definitely risk it for uh space. Space. I, I would love I would love to go uh deep sea diving. Or deep sea fishing? 
Deep sea diving would be pretty interesting. I had considered getting my diving ticket because I do have experience welding, so that'd be pretty good money. Uh, speaking of money, what do you resent paying for the most? Um... I... There was a there was a few games that I like bought. Oh, oh my god, I just remembered the game that I resent to buying the most because it was literally just a pyramid scheme. Like it's called Dead the Deadlinger and basically what it was was like a Daisy clone. And when I got into the game I bought it, right? And it was like hardly even even uh remotely done. Oh hey Neko. Um it was also nev not even close to uh a functioning game. It was very laggy and it cost like twenty dollars and the the company that was running it just ran away with the money. They had a barely working product that it, it looked good. I thought they were going to finish it, but they they didn't and just said, fuck it. Your money's mine now. What the fuck? People can be such assholes. Yeah, that that was not a fun time. No, I wouldn't think it would be. Did anything ever happen to them for that, or did they just kind no, of get away with it? That that's uh, that's actually illegal. What? Uh, because because uh, because they did it through Steam Steam Greenlit. What the hell? And you don't have to put out a finished product, but but Steam is like now cracking down on those games. I I personally like this game called uh, Journey of Life, and their creators went through a lot, and and they almost ran out of money, and they did actually run out of money. But it ended up getting made, and they started updating it again. Oh, it was it was great because it it's it's a fantastic game. Oh, that's good to hear that they actually did manage to get it out there, and they were were able to overcome their struggles. Speaking of tr struggling at work, which workers would you say have the worst jobs? If I have to listen to fucking It's a Wonderful Life again, I'm gonna cr freaking cry. Uh, so definitely retail, uh, or boxers, because they have, they get yelled at constantly, like the people that box shelves and put, put in shipments, they, they honestly, do the Lord's work. Jesus Christ, it's so bad. Yeah, I can imagine. I My younger brother used to be a packer for Amazon. The people that put all the shipped items into like the box and then send it out to ship. Holy shit, that looks... That seemed so, so, so challenging. My my first job was a volunteer uh, job at uh, Big Lots. Uh, because I don't because think I, know I that. was like Big Lots is a uh, is like a department e store with like it's it's a it's basically everything in a hand basket like Walmart. Okay. But it's like 
it's like on a smaller scale. I like it better. Yeah, it's got less of a Walmart vibe to it. Yep. <laughs> What change? <clears throat> excuse me. What change would you like to see in the VTuber community? Um, stigmatism between uh PNG tubers and uh and regular VTubers because mm. there is no there's no such thing as regular VTubers or PNG tubers not being VTubers. Yeah, they're VTubers. Because, because I I know I know of several really good v, uh PNG tubers that and uh and I I really hate the fact that people really just want to crap on uh on png tubers yeah, that's know. just not okay we're all <laughs> vtubers mm -hmm. there are quite a few png tubers that i actually lurk and hang out in their chat on occasion and they're a ton of fun to watch uh my my favorite is botez uh, I don't want to call out just one because there's so many. Yeah, but off of the my... top of my head, I know Fluffy is a ton of fun to listen to when he's going at his streams. Uh, Felixandra is another bubbly fun. Hello, Neko. Ooh, woo, indeed. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo from Neko. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, Neko community. I, I, I know her or them as Ruby. Well, hello, Ruby. Um, would you be interested in taking any questions from chat? Oh, absolutely. Fire away. I'm an open book. Perfect. So while chat gets that ready for us... I'll move on to the last of my questions. Alexandra is amazing. What things in your life are you grateful for? A uh, good family and nice people in my life, like you and uh, and my friend Stephen, and just happy that I'm alive. I'm still here. I'm breathing. I'm breathing, Mom. I did it. Look oh, at me. We can I'm ask the for front page of Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Crimson's asking, where did you get your model? I made it. In v Road Studio. Yeah, that's what I use too. Well, I I use uh, v Road, Unity, and Blender. All three. Wow. Uh, Humble, what? you had a question? Shoot away. I'm just chilling. Oh, well, uh, I'm glad you're just chilling. Uh, don't forget to like, by the way, Neko. Yeah, I like the stream. It really helps, it really helps with the algorithm. Algorithmic. Yeah, we gotta help boost the small creators. Also, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell, too. I think they're already subscribed. Are you equally as subscribe. naughty as Brayley? Who's Brayley? I assume really? I assume he means me. Yes. Yes. Somewhat. Like some of the first lewd posing I did was with uh Pink Seraph here. There <laughs> is yeah. a reason she's my mod. I I need a good bonking. <laughs> Zero is asking when using different avatar, does the gender change with your OCs, like pronouns and stuff? No, no. Okay. 
But your pronouns will always stay the same. Yes. Even if I'm using a male avatar, my my uh, pronouns will still be she, her. Instead of bonking, I can increase it. Do it. Sushi. My kitty's running around. Already. Today's been a long day. Tell me about it. This content seems chill. Yeah, that's what I do. I do lots of chill streams. Getting to know different content creators. And I shout them out while making... A video about it. Time to turn it into hell, I guess. Time to turn this into hell? Alright, let's see. Agent Slayer, see. hello. Yay. Hello. How are you doing? We're just doing a little bit of a Q&A, I guess, while we wrap up my interview. Uh, you get bonus content. So... Uh, something that I, I've noticed, and I, I've talked to other creators, yeah. um, on YouTube and on Twitch, apparently, if you stream three hours, people are just getting into your stream. If you stream four out, four hours, a notification goes out on Twitch again. If you stream four hours on here, you... You uh, you get a better algorithmic uh comparison, and the longer you stream on uh, Twitch, it's 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 really weird. But the longer you stream on Twitch, the easier it is to gain a a followership. But you have to be consistently like long streams. Yeah, it's it's challenging to really figure out. Do you want to do long streams? Do you want to do shorter streams? Where is your place kind of thing? Uh, Zero's asking, I... what are your top five creators you want to collab with in the near future? I would love to collab with you, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably Shy Lily. I would love to. I would absolutely love to. Um... I have a friend named Steven, like I mentioned. I would love to collab with him again. And possibly, if if I had the chance, Professor Broman, because he is awesome. <laughs> That's more people I need to check out. Except I do know Shy Lily. I... Kind of think she's unreachable, but I did shoot her an email. I don't expect a response, but you miss every shot you don't take, right? Uh, I would also like to hang out with Bonnie. Lovely From, Bonnie? Uh, um, Yeah, lovely Bonnie. Oh, she's and in my Mystic? YouTuber group. Mystic Guard? Yeah. Um, they are British Standard Time, but I might be able to get you in conversation with them. They are a friend Yay! of mine. You sound familiar. Which? Who sounds familiar? Do I sound familiar? I do pop around different BCs once in a while. At least to you they do. Okay. Nice to chill with you and Tim, I, I guess. Oh, he's, he's, they're talking about Agent Slayer. I, I'm not sure who you are, Agent Slayer, but welcome, nonetheless. Welcome, welcome. And yeah, it, it is just a chill vibe. I, I like, uh, I like chill music and a good time. Oh, I and can show you a good time. <laughs> Bless you. Um, yeah, that's kind of the stuff I do. I just 
I know it seems like I'm doing super professional stuff because I'm interviewing people, but I, I really like to just keep it laid back and chill. You want a good time too, Crimson? You know what happens in the Discord. <laughs> in um, the sex I guess dungeon? we can. Mm -hmm. In the sex dungeon? Yeah, in the sex dungeon. Be careful, she'll lock you up. I will. I mean, you'll like it, but. No idea what happens there. Couldn't be me. Who knows? Uh, but I guess we can start wrapping this up and then go... I will break you if you keep this shit up. We can take a little bit of break before we actually jump into Valheim if you'd like. Yeah, I, I need coffee and I'm going to get some water. I want to go stretch my legs. I sit in a, um, are there screams at the door? Oh, don't worry. Those are just consenting screams. Don't worry about those. Just focus on us. What the hell was that noise? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love playing with the voices. Uh, yeah, would you want to shout yourself out one more time before the end of the video? Yeah, my name is Pink Seraph. I am on YouTube. Uh, that is Pink, uh, that is Seraph with the E. And, uh, I am also on Twitter. Um, but you guys know that, you horny, you horny devils. <laughs> and, uh, uh, on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Pink Seraph as well. Alrighty. I... Wait, do you have like a link tree or something? I do. I should have put that in the shoutout command. But I will no, definitely put I, that I... in my um VOD video when that goes live. No, I, I much prefer the YouTube link. Oh, just the YouTube link? Yeah, because I have... I have my, uh, my, like, link tree thing on my YouTube. Oh, okay. And do you want to kind of just start with funneling everybody to your YouTube? Yeah. 